Okay guys, so ASUS has just finished up uh, announcing three big new products. Um, there's going to be two new tablets, the EPAD 121 and the EPAD 101 TC. These both look to be pretty cool tablets. There's also going to be the ASUS e-tablet, which is going to be more of like an e-reader, but it's going to really feature a lot of note-taking ca capability. And we're going to start with probably my favorite one, which is the EPAD 1 121. Um, now this is a 12.1 inch tablet, as you might have guessed from the name, and it really seems to be pretty solid. It has a Core 2 Duo ultra low voltage processor, which that's a pretty big step up from you know the standard Atom processors and stuff we've been seeing. Um, it also has Windows 7, a 10 hour battery life, and there's a couple other really cool things about it. Um, for example, it has a webcam, which is looking to be a pretty nice feature on tablets these days. It also does have at least one, they weren't sure, but there might be more added, but there will be at least one USB port when it launches. Um, and then, you know, there's a couple other cool things about it. I mean, it does seem to be running stock Windows 7, but to be honest, guys, they showed off a, basically it was a mock-up. It was not working at all. And, and that was, you know, to be expected because the, it isn't expected to be launched until early next year, probably in the first quarter. Um, but guys, it does look pretty cool. Um, they actually showed a really cool thing. It was a keyboard dock. Um, basically, you just take the uh, tablet and you set it on. And guys, it looks, I mean, exactly like a normal laptop. You know, you've got a touchpad, you've got a, a keyboard, and, you know, the tablet part folds down. But then when you want to, you just pick up the tablet and off you go. So it's, it looks pretty cool. Okay guys, so the next e-tablet we will be taking a look at is the 101 TC. Fantastic name, I know. Um, now this one we don't know a whole lot about. It is going to be a 10-inch tablet as opposed to the 12-inch of the 121. Um, it also is going to be running Windows Embedded Compact 7. Um, so this, guys, this is a very, um, it's almost a little bit like Android if you take a look at it. Um, you know, you actually have different pages and stuff. And, but it's a very, very custom UI and it actually looks quite nice. Um, now, guys, they showed this one off. This one actually was working, but it was not working very well, which is to be expected of a product that won't be coming out for a long time now, but still. Um, this one looks pretty decent. Um, to be honest, with getting a Core 2 Duo, Windows 7, all that kind of stuff, and the 121, I think that would probably be the one I'm looking forward to. Um, but, you know, we'll have to take a look at them. Um, like I said, both of them should be coming out in the first quarter of 2011, next year. Um, and the price ranges, they said, would be $399 to $499. Um, guys, if, I mean, especially the 121, if you could get that for $499, that would be really impressive. I mean, Core 2 Duo is a pretty powerful chip for you know, a tablet, so I really think that would be pretty cool. Okay, guys, so now we change gears a little bit and go to the e-tablet, which isn't a tablet. Right, go figure. Um, it is basically, um, it's like a touchscreen e-reader. It's pretty cool. Um, basically, what it's about is that it's about it has an eight-inch screen, and so it's obviously going to be a lot bigger than you know a normal Kindle or something. But basically, it's going to go ahead and have a few features such as a camera and stuff. But you know, you go ahead and read your books. The main thing they want you to do with it though is actually to write notes, and apparently, they've spent a lot of time on it. The specs are: it's got an eight-inch TFT LCD display, which of course is not e-ink. Um, now, it's got a note-taking stylus to go ahead and, you know, take notes. It's supposed to be really accurate. A micro SD slot. It's got, also got a 2 megapixel camera and a 10-hour battery life. So, guys, it's not, like I said, it's not going to be, you know, like an e-ink display where it lasts, you know, forever almost. But, you know, you're going to have a screen that refreshes very, very fast. You know, e-ink has a problem where, you know, you, it, you know, you go to, like, the next page and it takes a second or whatever. Well, they said this will take less than a tenth of a second. So, you know, it's pretty good. Um, now, this one will actually be coming out in September, and the price range, of course, they haven't figured it out yet. I said the price range will be between $199 and $299. So, guys, that's, that's pretty good. I mean, especially if they could get closer towards that $199 spot, that would be really cool. Because you get a camera, um, you can go ahead and it looks to be pretty accurate as far as taking notes, which would be kind of nice. And that 8-inch screen is definitely going to be pretty cool. Okay, guys, so that's everything Asus. Um, you know, we've got the e-tablet, which is, of course, an e-reader, which it looks pretty good, especially if I can get it for cheap. Um, and then we've got the two tablets, which, of course, won't be coming out for a while. But um, the 101 looks pretty cool. Um, I'm not so 100% sure about it. It looks pretty good. Um, but the 121 looks was kind of my favorite. I mean, if we could get it for $4.99 with a Core 2 Duo um, running full Windows 7, 
especially you know if they if the keyboard dock isn't that expensive, that would be a really cool thing. I mean, that would be if you got the keyboard dock for even even if it's like a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars, that would still be cheaper than buying a normal you know Windows Seven computer. And then of course it's a tablet too; you can just disconnect it. So I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, anyway, guys, we're just gonna have to keep an eye out for this, but it looks pretty promising.